Hello and welcome to the demonstration for the geologist Little Helper. Along the bottom you can see the different functionality that this application has. We have a page here for oil zone analysis, gas zone analysis, leak off test, <coughs> corrected D exponent and formation temperature. Okay, for these, the first couple of pages here, um, there's a fair bit of input that is required um, and a number of, number of answers are returned. Um, so one way that you may deal with this um, is to take a screenshot, for example, and you can do that by pressing the home button and the power button on top of the iPhone. Take a shot of the screen. And then, well, you can do a number of different things with that image. You can uh, transfer it with uh, you know, various file transfer applications. You can print it using, for example, HP's or Canon's printing applications. Um, one other thing I just wanted to quickly point out was I was going to include a function to save um, the values that have been entered in because they are getting um, a little bit involved. But with the iPhone 4 or OS 4, um, it supports multitasking. So you can leave the application, go and do whatever else you have to. When you come back, um, the data is still going to be there. Okay, so jumping in, we have an information page here because uh, there is a fair bit going on. Um, and it basically points you in the right direction, you know, suggests some values um, that are commonly used and basically gives you a quick rundown of what's going on and what the, the various inputs mean or what's being asked. This is a very good first look. It's excellent. It's as good as any out there. Um, the values calculated here are pretty well spot on. Um, Okay, so jumping in, we need some shale data. Obviously, we're going to correct as we as we go through. So we need gamma ray clean, gamma ray shale, neutron density, density porosity in a shale zone. Um, uh, this V over V or fraction. Uh, we need some details for the water zone. So the f these constants here are for Archie's equation. Uh, these happen to be for a consolidated sandstone, but maybe different in your part of the world. Um, need the resistivity for the water zone, neutron porosity, and density porosity once again. Okay, so for the zone, top and bottom, um, deep resistivity porosities and gamma ray. It's all pretty self. That's all pretty straightforward. Um, this one here. Ideally, you would get these values from an offset well. Um, for a zone that initially produced with zero water cut. Um, if you don't have that sort of detail available, just pick the most obvious, um, best hydrocarbon bearing zone in the log that you're looking at and take the values from that. Permeability constants, these are suggested by, um, well, these are for the Wiley Rose equation or calculation and the values were suggested by Morris Biggs. Now, I've looked at a number of different papers on this and there is a, a range of values that can be used here. It's gonna come down to uh, what experience you have in whatever field you're working in. Um, if you don't have, or these values haven't been calculated, then you know these are, are a set of standards that can be used. Okay, oil formation volume factor. Okay, so this is to account for shrinkage as the crude um, comes to surface, pressure decreases, so dissolved gas is going to come out of solution. Um, recovery factor could be anywhere from 0.1 to 0.9. Drainage area in square metres, that's all straightforward. Uh, this formation pressure, once again, ideally, you'll know this from, a, from an actual pressure test, but if you don't have that detail available, um, you may you may use uh, a value that you know from an offset well, and uh, that should be okay. And, well, yeah, it's obviously not as gonna be as um, exact as a, a pressure that you've actually tested, but you should still get, 
you know, something that makes sense here. And viscosity. As with all the little helper applications, I've coded in some suggested, uh, you know, limits, if you like. Um, so let's have a look. What's going to be a good one to use? Okay. So what this application goes a little bit further in that I've predefined some limits for each of these inputs. But then it also compares the answers from the calculations that are being performed in the background um, to make sure that it's, uh, the values make some sense. Say, for example, well, let's enter something uh, over the top here. So it's going to throw up a warning here. And then it's going to point you in the right direction. Um, you can come back and say, okay, well, that's, that can't be right. Correct it. Okay, and we're back. Cool. Gas zone. Uh, all of this detail up the top is, is the same or very similar. Um, these values are going to be different for a gas zone. That's detailed once again on the information page here. Okay. Scrolling down, I would just like to talk to you a little bit about these constants down here. Now, this compressibility factor, it's to, it is to account for a difference in behavior compared to an ideal gas. Okay, uh, the recovery factor. This is going to be a little bit higher than the, the oil zone analysis, maybe 0.5 up to 0.95. Drainage area in square meters, that's the same. Uh, formation and surface pressures. We also need the temperatures of the formation and surface here as well. And it's going to re return uh, the same sort of answers down the bottom. So we have reserves in place um, and productivity per day. This CDAM is cubic decimeter. So this is 48,000 cubic meters or 48 cubic decimeters. Okay. Leak off test. Leak off test pressure, depth, true vertical depth, I should point out, and mud weight. Okay, easy. Corrected the exponent. Um, this value by itself probably doesn't mean a lot. Um, you do need a range in that you are looking for a trend um, as drilling progresses. But uh, the values that are required are ROP, meters per hour, rotary drilling speed, RPM, the weight on bit, bit diameter, and initial and actual mud weight. If the mud weight doesn't change, just uh, you can go ahead just enter the the same value in here twice. This is just to allow for it to be corrected. <laughs> okay. Formation temperature. We need surface temperature, temperature gradient, of course, and the formation depth. Um, and the formation temperature is going to be returned here. Now, uh, this depth, once again, is TVD, true vertical depth. This application is built for the international oil field. Um, as you can see, uh, there is a mixture of um, standard units and imperial units. Um, there is an application for the US coming out um, in a couple of weeks and all of, the, you know, all of the units are going to be imperial for that one. Okay, well, that's it. Thank you very much.